What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you the best way to play Skyrim VR and that is by using Wabberjack to download a mod list which is going to download hundreds of mods and completely overhaul your gaming experience. On top of that we are also going to be downloading Skyrim Mantella which is going to allow you to talk to any NPC in the game and have some really wacky experiences. All of this is going to be done through Mod Organizer 2 so if you've never modded with it before sit back and this is how it's done uh yeah dude what are you talking about ah the world is alive the pulse of the land the rhythm of the waters the whispers of the ancient ones right i see the threads that connect all things the hidden patterns that weave together to form the tapestry of life yeah i don't know what you're talking about After installing Skyrim VR, make sure you run it at least once before carrying on with this process. Now, once we've run Skyrim VR at least once, we're going to head over to wabberjack.org, we're going to download Wabberjack, and we're going to run it. Links will be in the description. Now, the first thing we're going to do is head over to this cog button for the settings and log into our Nexus account. Guys, you are going to need a Nexus Premium account. That's just because there are hundreds and hundreds of mods that need to be downloaded and they need to be downloaded fast. So if you don't have one, just get one for a month and unsubscribe once this process has been done. So once we're logged in, it's going to ask us to authorize the login or to link our Wabberjack to Nexus. Just push accept. And then guys, from here, we can click this drop down menu and select Skyrim VR. And from the Skyrim VR list, we're going to choose fundamentals, upgrades and stuff. I highly recommend this mod list. Now, when you first select FUS from the mod list, it's going to prompt you to download it. I've already downloaded it, but don't worry, it's all automatic and it'll save it where it is required to be saved. Now, when you first push play, it's going to open up a GitHub full of information about the mod list. The next step is going to be to set the locations for the mod list download and we're going to do that now. So guys, target mod list will already be selected as we've just downloaded it. However, mod list installation location is a folder that we need to create. So get your SSD, the same SSD where Skyrim is installed, make a folder anywhere on that SSD and call it mod list. Once you've selected that, it's going to automatically set your resource download location by creating a folder called downloads in the folder you've just created. Trust me guys, it's simpler than it sounds. Just make that mod list folder and the rest will do itself. Just leave Wabberjack to download the mod list and it'll automatically download it and install it at the end. Make sure that you have at least 250 gigabytes worth of space and give it some time. Depending on your network, it can take about an hour or two. So we have successfully finished installing the Wabberjack mod list. If we close Wabberjack, we can go over to the folder where we downloaded Wabberjack and the mod list, and we can choose the folder called mod list. Inside there is mod organizer. What we're gonna do is open that. Now by opening it, it's gonna start creating some files. So give it some time. It might take a little bit longer the first time you open it, but this is where we're going to be launching our mod list from and where we're going to be installing Mantella to. Click yes on NXM links. That's going to only open up once. And uh, also go over to settings and make sure that you link your Nexus account to Mod Organizer 2 and that'll help keep the mods up to date. Now what we're going to do is open Steam VR and connect our VR headset to Steam. And that's because what we need to do is run the mod list once so that it creates all the associated files required before we add any new mods in. So here we are, we are in Steam VR and we're going to push run. Now here's the thing. You actually need to run Mod Organizer 2 as administrator for it to work. And if you don't, you're going to get this error code, which will restart Mod Organizer 2 as administrator. Now that Mod Organizer 2 has restarted as administrator, we're going to push run. And this little window pops up saying that Mod Organizer 2 is locked. Don't worry, it's not an error code. Now, Mod Organizer 2 is loading the mod list and it may take a while the first time. So let it load. Don't go out of it because you can cause some uh, issues with the mods. Now that we can see the mod list has been successfully installed and is running, we're going to close the game to go on to the next step, which is installing Mantella. But before that, we're going to quickly make a shortcut for Mod Organizer 2 and we're going to make sure that it is set to run as administrator. 
select properties, go to compatibility, and then tick run as administrator. Now, whenever we run mud organizer, we won't get that error code anymore. Now guys, there is just one more small change we need to make. It is optional, but I would highly recommend it. And that's to set an alternative start mod. So if we look on mod organizer two and we scroll down, we're going to see starts. We're going to look for realm of Lorcan. I would highly recommend that as your alternate start mod, it's going to make the beginning of Skyrim a lot quicker and a lot less boring. Now guys, the next step is not mandatory. You can play the mod list right now as it is, and it'll still be cool. However, really what we wanna do is install Mantella, which is gonna allow us to talk to any NPC for free. This is an amazing mod guys, and I would highly recommend you carry on with the next step. Now we are gonna head over to the GitHub. The link is in the description of this video, and it's gonna have all of the links that we need to download in order to make Mantella work. So if we scroll down, we can see all the mods that we need to download and Skyrim Script Extender will already be in our mod list, so we don't have to worry about it. Now, guys, I'm going to open all of these mods in a new window by right clicking the link and opening them. I just want to make a point of saying that this process can be done in non VR. You just have to download the non VR versions of these mods. As I already said, we have SKSE, so we're not going to download that. But what we are going to open is VR address library. We're going to open phonics data file. You can open UI extensions if you plan on not using your microphone and using text input. However, I would highly recommend using the microphone. Also, we're going to open up C++ redistributables and we're going to run it. We are not going to open up Sky UI because we need to download the Sky UI VR version, which is attainable on Nexus mods. And once that is all done, we're going to open Mantella. And here you can see I'm just opening up all of those links that I just mentioned with the right click and open in new tab function. And then lastly, once I've opened all of the ones I need, I'm going to download and install the C++ distributables. And now that that's installed, we're going to head over to the first tab. We're going to select files and we're going to choose mod manager download. And inside that window, we're going to click download, which is going to download this mod onto our mod manager. And we're going to do that with each tab. Yeah, I am downloading the SSC Creation Kit Phonics Data Lip Sync, which will make the characters lip sync with what they're saying in Mantella. And now that I've downloaded all of the required mods, I'm going to head over to the Mantella tab and I'm going to go to Files and I'm going to select the Mod Manager Download. And when I do that, it's going to open up a page showing me all of the files that I need in order to download Mantella. I've already downloaded all of these, or they're already included in the mod pack, so we don't have to worry about them. We don't need the USSEP either. We don't need any of these. They're all already in the mod list and downloaded by us. So hit download on Mantella, and that's going to download Mantella to our mod list. And you can see it working away at the bottom right there. Just bear in mind that Mantella is a much, much larger file than any of the mods you've downloaded so far, apart from the whole mod pack. So it's probably going to take about three to five minutes. And then guys, we're going to head over to openrooter.ai and we're going to make ourselves an account. Now you can add credits if you want, but we don't need any if we're using a free model. We're going to create a key and I'm going to name it Skyrim VR. And when I create it, it's going to give us a secret key. Make sure you do not share this key with anyone. Here I've created it and here I've copied it. Now I'm going to head over to Mod Organizer 2 and on the bottom right, I'm going to be able to see where our Mantella installation is. ESP. If I right click that, I can open its location. And when I open its location, I'll be able to see a file called GPT secret key. Here it is right here. And I will paste the key that I've just created in here. I'm just going to replace an old one. There we go. Make sure you save this before you close it. And we are almost ready guys. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do is open up Steam VR and connect our headset, and then we're going to open up Mod Organizer 2 from the link we made, and we're going to push run. And that is going to start Mantella automatically in the background, as well as Skyrim VR and the whole mod list. Make sure that you always do it in this order and you always have your headset and Steam VR on and connected to each other before you ever start up the game. 
Now guys, we can see that everything is opening in the background. We can see the Mantella console pop up. What we actually need now is the Mantella UI. Now ordinarily it would automatically pop up, but sometimes it doesn't do it. So we're gonna head over to the GitHub and there is a link that says Mantella UI. Have a look at the console. You can also say it says waiting for player to select NPC. That means that Mantella is working and it is waiting for you to choose an NPC to talk to. So here's the UI and we're going to paste it right here in our browser and that is going to let us edit Mantella. Congratulations guys, the game is running in the background. You can maximize it and you can go ahead and play. I'm going to quickly go over a few of these settings though. Um, you don't need to change them, they work as default. However, if you look at LLM service, keep it to open router because the best models are there. You don't want to use a ChatGPT model. Looking at model, you can select free ones and you can select paid ones. Here I've selected a paid one called Llama 370B Instruct. It's an excellent LLM and it's the one that BrainFrog uses. The rest of the settings guys, just leave alone for the time being. If you want text to speech, if you don't have a microphone, you can set it at that top tab, but the rest just leave for the time being. I have just recently made a video on how to set up XTTS and that goes into more depth with the models and with setting up XTTS, which is an excellent way to synthesize voice and a highly recommended one. So check that video out if you like. Other than that, check out BrainFrog and some of the stuff he does. He does incredible videos um, using this technique. And apart from that, guys, all you need to do now is unminimize the game and play it. It's going to run in the background. Enjoy. My name is Mikhail, the greatest bard Whiterun has ever seen. And I might add the most charming. Yeah, Michael, how did you know that I was the Dragonborn? Ha! I have my ways, my friend. I've got my finger on the pulse of Whiterun and news travels quickly. Besides, it's not every day a hero like yourself walks into town. All right, fair enough. So um, you said you're a bard. Do you want to uh, make a song about me, seeing as like I'm a hero? You want to be the subject of my next ballad, do you? Well, I suppose you're worthy of a tale or two. In fact, I've got a song that's almost ready. And I've got a video that's finished. So guys, I hope this has been very helpful. Please check out all the links in the description. Please consider liking and subscribing if this has been helpful. I do this kind of stuff all the time and I have loads of tutorials that are similar or related. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.